All right, so here we have an expansion joint. I'm not sure if that's what they call it, but these things are made so you can run wires underneath from one side to the other. But as you can see, it's pretty much worn out. And I'm about to put this slab gasket, they call it, which was purchased on eBay. And it's one and five eighths. So I'm not sure if it's gonna fit, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Well, as you can see, it's not as easy as I thought it was. Um, the plastic is all brittle and it's three inches thick or actually deep. And it's pretty much stuck to the uh, slab or the concrete. So I've got my work cut out, as you can see. Well, there you have it. It's pretty much all out. All I've got to do now is clean it up. I have to get a few tools out, a crowbar and a few other things. But uh, I'm not sure if it's going to fit. It's pretty big. And it's three inches deep. So I think it'll fit just fine in there, hopefully. Just like I say, it's solid at the bottom. And... Uh, just a matter of fish finishing it up okay so it's all cleaned up vacuumed up and it looks like it's trying to rain I don't think it's really gonna rain hard a dark cloud right over me so um, I think that gives me an idea I think I'm gonna put some soap and water together and soap that puppy up before I try to pound that puppy in there all right well Decided I'm gonna use straight soap instead of just diluted soap. Um, hopefully it'll go as planned. We'll see what happens. Uh, here we go. We'll go ahead and soak this up. Probably more than Of that so what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna cut I think I'm gonna cut this out um, a little bit because I don't think it's gonna collapse the way I want it to looks like it's gonna be too hard to squeeze that puppy in there hopefully it's not too big try it again just because not going in the way I wanted to. All right, so let's go to plan B and we're gonna open this up a little bit. Okay, I had to split it with the uh, the jigsaw here. I had to cut the, the blade so it would cut just the top of it. It's not pretty, but I think it might work. We'll find out soon enough. All right, well, I've got it started. So uh, let's see what I can do to finish this. Hopefully it'll go in. This won't go in as good as I thought it would. It's a pretty tight fit. All right, well, it's all done. Except I have a confession to make. I had to go to plan C and I had to go out and purchase some uh, treated two by four and trim it accordingly and shove that puppy in there because the other one just did not work out. It was way too big. Um, it was sticking up a quarter of an inch so that made it a trip hazard. So 
I had to do what I had to do. I ended up using this sand, which is used for uh, pavers and tiles. When you, uh, you're done, you just spread it on there and it fills all the cracks. So what I did is I used it on the uh, two by four. The rubber didn't work out. I trimmed it every which way. Um, it just it just was too wide. It's inch and five eighths. And the problem is, is they only sell an inch and five eighths, and an inch and three eighths. Well, I needed an inch and a half, so I wasn't about to spend another thirty dollars to uh, see if it would work. I just figured, okay, I'll just buy me a two by four. Here's the rest of it right there. Um, and my, my garage is a total mess right now. Anyway, please subscribe and thanks for watching. All right, so this is the final product. There you have it in a nutshell. Thank you.